Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on decimals. So there's going to be a few videos on this topic and we'll cover a couple of different key skills in both. So the first skill is adding decimals. Now if you can do column addition, it's essentially just the same thing. Uh, so here we've got evaluate 6.436 plus 8.992. So let's write this out as a column. So 6.436 plus 8.992. So all we have to do is make sure we align uh, the correct places here. So the decimal points can be aligned and then it's easy to align everything else. So we just treat this like any other column addition now, except we've got this decimal point in. So let's pop that in here for our answer. So six plus two is equal to eight. Three plus nine is equal to 12. So we carry the one. Four plus nine plus one is equal to 14. So we carry the one again. Six plus eight plus one is equal to 15, so we carry the one. Uh, so we're left with 15.428 as our final answer. So 6.436 plus 8.992 is equal to 15.428. So if you can do column addition, then adding decimals is essentially just the same thing. Moving on then, let's look at subtracting decimals. So subtracting decimals, uh, we'll do column subtraction this time. Uh, so if you can do that, then subtracting decimals is the same thing. We've got 567.63 minus 92.478. Now, uh, getting the place value is important here. So we've got 478. Uh, so uh, you can see that we've not got anything in this column on the uh, top of the column. So let's put a zero in here uh, just to make it clear what's going on. So uh, first of all, uh, let's look at zero minus eight. Well, we can't do that. So we'll take a digit off this column make that into a two and add a one here to turn this zero into a 10. So now we can do 10 minus eight, which is two. Uh, and then move on to the next column. We've got two and a seven. Now we can't do two minus seven. So we do the same thing here. Turn this six to a five and turn this two to a 12. And now we do 12 minus seven, which gives us five. Now we've got five minus four, that's equal to one. Let's pop our decimal point back in. Now we've got seven minus two in the next column. That gives us five. Then we've got six minus nine, and we can't do that. So we'll turn this five here into a four, turn this six into a 16, and do 16 minus nine. That gives us seven, uh, and then we've got four minus, there's nothing in this column, so that just remains four. So we're left with 475.152 as our final answer. If you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and there's a variety of different question types as well so you get multiple choice some will require you to type an answer straight in so always good preparation for your exam uh, now you get instant feedback on everything so it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve so if you're interested you can click the link below and i'll take you over to the site